welcome to this episode of Psychic Medium Tony G. I am Tony G. This episode is being recorded live at the studio of WSCS. I'm so grateful for ever for Ron and Rick and Scott, the station manager. They are just amazing at finding and helping to put this show out there in new ways. So today we are actually going live with Facebook Live and YouTube Live. It's, it should be streaming on both of those venues. So you can hop on to Facebook Live and watch this, listen to this, YouTube Live, watch it and listen. And if you're watching right now, if you're on Facebook and you have a question about life, love, finances, um, career, or just listening through Blog Talk or iHeart or any of the other venues this is on, you can call in now, 858-365-5593. That's the number. Call in, ask a question, um, or connect with a loved one. Whatever it is that you're feeling today or wanting to do, uh, that's what I'm here for. Before I get started with the show, I want you to know I do messages from above every single Monday at noon, and I um, do that for 30 minutes also, so you can call in then also. Now, yesterday I started talking about relationships on messages from above, so you go back, listen to that show. It's, it's really quite interesting what they channel through me at the beginning of a show. And the one thing that they're saying with this new year and this new decade and how um, astrologically all the planets are moving and shifting and going into place, they're just setting us up for the beginning of a wonderful ride. So if you are right now thinking about, you know what, I want a new career, I, I, this relationship isn't working out, now is the time to jump. Everything is falling into place now so that you can make the moves you need to make, the moves you want to make, to have that life you've been wanting. As long as you're in the right place, doing the right thing, you've let go of what's not working, you will be moving into a decade. Wow, a whole decade? Thanks, guys. A decade of increasing your prosperity and abundance, increasing the amount of love you can give and receive, increasing the type of work you're doing or working toward your purpose. All of this will incrementally increase as long as you've let go of what is not working. If you're holding on to what's not working, what doesn't feel right to you, or what, what just what isn't making you happy in your life? Let's start there. What's not making you happy in your life? What in your life says, you know what, this isn't up to par. This is here. I want to be here. What's going on with that? Where is that? How does that affect you? What, what's going on with that? If you're here and you can't fix it, if you're here and you want to be here and you can't fix it, you can't fix what's here, then you have to start working your way out of it. Now, before you jump ship, make sure if it's a career, you have something else lined up. But more importantly, if you're here, realize is what's wrong this, the job, the person, the other thing? Or is it my expectations? Am I not in my purpose? Am I uh, unhappy with everything in my life? Because if you're unhappy with everything in your life, then, then is it the career? Or do you need a clearing? Do you need to get refocused on joy? Get re-acclimated to that vibration and that frequency of joy. So if you're happy in all other aspects and there's just this one sticking point, then you have to look at that sticking point or that situation and say, what will make me happy? Um, 
and then from there make your choices. But this is not the time. Do not drag the old into the new. Do not drag the past and what hasn't worked in the past into the new. Because right now, everything, everything is set up for you to catapult forward, whether it be love, career, purpose, finances. There, these first three months of the year could bring you beautiful downfalls um, financially as long as you're changing your mind. Now, changing your mind means thinking differently, but it also means working in the direction of uh, raising your freak frequency, having that joy and happiness. I'm gonna tell you a little secret <laughs> on national TV. <laughs> Just a little secret. When I'm my happiness, happiest, when things are really rolling forward for me and everything's working out, anything I think of that I want just lands in front of me. Okay, just freaking lands in front of me. And not that I get a lot of things for free. <laughs> Sometimes I do, but it depends on my frequency. If I'm down and out and negative, it, everything moves really slow and nothing's coming to me. The happier I am, the better things get, and the more of what I'm seeking from the universe just falls in my lap. I'm not saying this in a way that I take advantage of it. It's just the universe and I are in that frequency. And when you're in that frequency of love and joy, everything, everything just falls for you. Everything just is in alignment with you and for you. Work, let's say you're at a job you hate, but you're keeping yourself up, then in that moment, in that very moment, all of a sudden other jobs get offered to you. What? Yes, it's so true. It's so very, very true. And as long as you stay in that frequency, those jobs that are getting offered or being brought to your attention, will 100%, 100% be in alignment with your frequency. Now people say, I'm afraid to jump, I'm afraid to go, I don't wanna switch jobs, what if this job is worse? What if it's not? Seriously, what if it's not worse? What if the next partner is better? What if the next partner is everything you wanted? And you know what, here's, here's a little tippy too. If it's worse, jump again. Jump again. Jump until you get to where you want to be. Keep taking steps incrementally until it's the person you want that treats you the way you deserve to be treated. Listen, women, my girls out there, we are princesses until we are queens. Never downgrade yourself. You are a piece of gold. Don't let somebody treat you like a piece of copper. I'm, is copper valuable? Yeah, it is. Okay, wait. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my, cam <laughs> my, cam <laughs> my camera guy just said, yeah, copper is valuable. Is silver valuable? What's that you're hitting at? <laughs> tin, tin. You <laughs> okay, this is, <laughs> oh, I'm ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. If <laughs> I'm just going to get myself together here. Okay, you are gold. You're a diamond. Don't let somebody treat you like tin. There. That's it. And guys, the same for you. You're a king. But you better be treating those women like queen and women be treating your man like a king. If that's not happening, just, you know, do what you can to do what you can or jump out of the situation. All righty now. That's good. On that happy note, I'm going to go to the first caller. The first caller is um, area code 316. Hello, 316. How are you today? Hi, Jenny. This is Brianna. Hey, Brianna. How are you? Hi. Hi. Where are you calling from today? Kansas. Awesome. How can I help you? Yes. 
I wanted to know where you see things going with a guy named Dylan. Okay, first I'm gonna um, tap into Dylan and make sure I'm getting the right intel on Dylan. So Dylan's a pretty good guy. He's really solid, he's resourceful, he's extremely logical, almost so logical it makes you crazy at times. Is this the right person? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. Dylan has some quirky behaviors, but you can deal with them, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> perfect. Yes. Okay, you and Dylan, um, so I don't want to be the one to go spoiler alert um, or anything like this, but I see this having the possibility and the probability of being a, a very, very, very long-term relationship. This is a significant oh, relationship. Oh, wow, because it's so new. Well, this is good. It's good that it's new and that you know this. Don't rush him. He's very logical. He does things on his timeline. Okay, it's very important for you to know he does things on his timeline. It's going to come. Don't freak out. It'll be there. You just have to let him go at his pace, okay? And here's okay. a little okay. something you might not know about him. He really likes to surprise people. He thinks he's hilarious when he surprises someone. <laughs> So don't push, <laughs> let him surprise you with things and be very surprised. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay. I'm gonna <laughs> tell you another thing. Him, I just didn't know. Y yes, this is a relationship or a situation where the two of you have the opportunity to learn and grow, okay? So for okay. example, when things get a little janky and they do in relationships listen relationships are the most difficult thing in the world even when you're 100 percent beyond in love with the person trust me i know they are challenging because everybody has different beliefs and different programs and different upbringings and you just have to figure out how to communicate things and respect each other so Okay, that's big for me. Yes, but it's not only in the communication that counts with the two of you. It's you two communicate a little differently. Like your verbiage means one thing in your head, and it might mean something else in his head. And his verbiage means one thing in your head, but the way he's saying it might not mean the, the way he means it. So let me give you a sentence to memorize. And this is perfect okay. for anybody. How do you mean that? What do you mean by that? How, how, do you, how do you mean that? The way you're saying that, I understand it this way. Is that the way you meant it? Let your communication I go that I just said that to him like this week, this past weekend. <laughs> Awesome. See? See? That's it. You're going to have to do that until you understand the way each other communicates. Okay? Because communication makes or breaks a relationship. And this one has the potential to go very, very far. Now, you are going to be learning and healing in this relationship. And you might just be learning to retrust or trust in a different way. He's not the guys from your past at all. He's not those guys. So yeah. as, as easy as it is for me to say, let that go, it's not easy to let go of things like that. Yeah. You just have to like keep reminding yourself he's not those guys. He's not them. He's somebody completely different. It's not if you fight. Wow, you're scaring me because that's to do with everything that we talked about this weekend. <laughs> awesome. See, there's that confirmation. Thank you for confirming that for me. Um, yes. I will hear from him. You, yes, you will. You will. Okay. Be patient and realize okay. every, every couple has disagreements and arguments. It's not the argument. It's how you get through it. It's how you communicate it. It's And then letting go of it and moving forward from then. 
So I'm going to go, they're having problems right now. I definitely get a yes. We're going to clear that right now. And that's a lot of hard stuff coming out. We're going to clear not only the problem, but what's yes. the source of this, because this has nothing to do with him personally. This, okay. He hit a trigger. Some triggers were hit for both of you from past relationships that brought all of this back up like a wild boar running in the mud and just went crazy. I don't even know where that statement came from. Mm -hmm. When I channel, just the weirdest things wow. sometimes come out of my mouth. <laughs> So, it all so makes sense. good, excellent. As long as it makes sense to you, that's what counts. I am going to tell you um, yes. never have disagreements over the phone. If you can avoid, and never text. Never, this whole texting thing is a big debacle in communication, in relationships, when things aren't going perfect or you don't know each other well enough. Mm -hmm because there's so much miscommunication and in our head we read it and go, oh, he meant this, but, or he meant it this way, or oh, yep. he's yelling at me. It's, it's words on paper. It's okay, words on a phone. There's no way we can know the context of how that's being sent or the emotion it's being sent wow. with. Okay? All of that was done through text. And I said the exact same thing. I was like, oh, maybe because it's in text. I don't know yeah. what tone you're saying it in. I'm reading it. Absolutely. And texting can make or break. So stay out of texting. And this is what you need to do. Okay. Hey, when you have a couple minutes, can you please call me? Not call me. Can you please? especially in the beginning of a relationship. And don't, whatever you do, do not say, I need to talk to you about something. Because what is a person oh, no, going to yeah. do? They're right away going to go into that defensive mode where they're saying, okay, yeah. I am, she's going to tell me something. What is it? They're already panicking before you even call and talk to them. Hey, when you have a minute, can you please give me a call? That's it. That's it. And then when you get on the phone and you hear the tone, nine times out of ten, once you hear the voice, all the panic and everything is okay. Everything's okay. You don't even need to bring up your issue because you've heard the voice. You know everything's okay. So you have some serious insecurities, and so does he. So we're going to just work on clearing that now for you Anybody listening and anybody re-listening, we're just going to clear all of that out now. We're going to let that uh, fall by the wayside. And by tomorrow, you should feel better. And um, okay. by the next day, you should be rethinking the way you think about situations. So just please know that. Now, I want you to know before I go to the next caller, you know, on my website, Tony G, T-O-N-I-G, um, if you go to my healing or clearing page, whatever it's called now, there's a button where you can get a once a week clearing just to make sure you're running forward, everything is going well in your life. And I really do recommend that for people because so much muck is on us. Like just, the, this is the way I describe it. Energy is like cold. When you're in somebody's energy, if they're nervous, if they're panicky, if they're angry, guess who's picking that up? We are, because our energy is meshing. And we just wanna be in that right energy. We wanna get all that old icky energy off of us, let go of things from the past, and run forward on those higher, whether we call it frequencies, vibrations, we're all energy. At, if you took a microscope and looked, you could look, on a, a strong enough microscope, you would see right through our hands because we are beings of energy first and flesh second. And where that energy falls is what you are creating in your life every single day. Okay? It's important to remember. Okay. So everything is going to work out. Be okay. patient. Just... I'll give them the space. <laughs> yeah. And just say... You know, one of the best things we can say um, when we're going through something like this, 
I'm really sorry for all of the miscommunication. I'm, and then leave it at that. Okay. I'm really sorry for all of the miscommunication. Because that's, I think, you're not owning it, they're not owning it. It's just out there that there was a lot of miscommunication. Okay, sweetie? Okay, okay. Well, thank you. You hit a lot of um, nub on the head, so I appreciate it. Absolutely my pleasure, and I'm so grateful that you called in today. Um, I look forward to hearing how this all turns out in the future. Okay, I'm going to go directly to the next caller. And the next caller is 347. Hello, 347. How are you today? Oh, hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. Absolutely my pleasure. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Katie from New York. Katie, how can I help you today? Um, maybe, you know what, maybe you can tell, I mean, I was going to ask a career question, but I think maybe I'll ask a love life question. Ooh, all um, about love today. I was going to start dating and meeting people that I like and things like that and give me any insight about it or about the people I'm going to date or the person. Okay. Here's what I'm getting. In approximately a month, that puts us toward mid-February, you are going to no, start... we're in January. Yep. Oh, okay. We're in January, but in approximately a month, in approximately a month, you are going to start dating, okay? You're going to go out on one date, and you're going to be bitterly disappointed. You're going to be like, are you kidding? <laughs> and here's one of my favorite lines. That wasn't worth the lipstick I wasted putting on for it. But don't let that disillusion you. The first run out can sometimes be a little bit disappointing. You know what? I always say this. Don't be, don't be nervous to get up and leave in the middle of a dinner if it's not going where you want it to go. I mean... Oh, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom and walk out the front door. Done and done. If you know, just leave them sitting there. That's their lesson to learn. And please don't ask me how many times I've done that because people might think I'm mean for doing that. <laughs> but, but if somebody is, like, if you just know they're, they're not the one and they're rude or they're just really inappropriate, oh, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom, get up and walk out. Um, and uh -huh. that's it. That's their lesson to learn. If somebody doesn't know how to treat you, you don't have to sit through a whole dinner with them. Now, I am going to let you know that mid-February, you are going to start dating. You're going to go out on three or four different dates with three or four different people. And then the fifth person fifth person, which will be in March, and I want to say I'm seeing the 28th, right around March 28th, someone's going to come in, and this person is going to be, I don't like to say it like this, but this is the word they're giving me. This person is going to be perfect. You're going to feel it. You're going to know it. You're just going to, you're going to be there with it. You're going to be in it, okay? So right around March 28th, this person is going to come in. Now, I am going to say to you, go on the date with the other people. Go. Don't think... Oh, there's a guy coming in on the 28th. I'm going to sit home and eat popcorn and watch TV until the... No, sometimes we have to go out on these dates with these other people so that we can learn what we want, what we deserve, and definitely be in that space where we're like, I'm not settling and I'm not messing around anymore. The first people out can't be the people because we need to get our girl back. Right? We need to be back in that space where we're like, oh, look at, I, I, I don't know how else to say it other than we need to get our girl back, okay? 
um, uh -huh. and realize how fun dating can be again and the right questions to ask to get the right answers and to be in that space where we are really, really solid. And then that guy walks in and you're on that same energy with that guy and boom, magic happens, okay? Now you're gonna think it's the third guy or the fourth guy. You're gonna think it's him because he's really close, but he's, he's, he's not as genuine as he seems. So the, it's the third, fourth guy is not as genuine as he seems and you're not gonna know it right away. So get your questions down and double ask them. Ask them one way, let them have a few drinks, ask them another way, okay? And you'll learn. And I always tell people, read Steve Harvey's book, Date Like a Man, Act Like a Woman. I did. I yes! Did. I did. <laughs> before. That's, that's, that's in every relationship, I gotta say. But I do, I do like the rules of it. I do, yes. I do like the rules. But and I come think my issue too is, okay, so I, I, I went out the other day. I did meet a guy, but he happened to be married. So oh. that was the act. Yeah, but, that, that's a walk out um, in the middle, middle of dinner. Uh -huh. I want to, you know, start meeting people. So I'm just trying to see, um, like, if I should do a dating app or actually starting to have a social life and actually meet people right. in certain places. Right. I, you know what? I'm going to tell you, both. keep moving forward. You're going to get there sooner than you think. And it's, I just keep hearing it's the fifth guy. Okay? So I know you are going to meet this guy and you're going to know right away. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful for your call. And I want to thank everybody who called in today, who listened. I'm sorry if I didn't get to you. Please um, try again Monday at noon uh, for messages from above. And I do Psychic Medium Tony G on WSCS every, the second Tuesday of the month. <laughs> Boy, I am having some communication things today. I look forward to the next show. Until then... Make miracles in your life and make 2020 everything it can be. Bye for now.